Ni hao, everybody, and welcome. It is time for the freedom of Hong Kong, I think. Can I... Uh, increase the time. Do I just... Do I get anything for doing that? Yeah. Lose... That, so... It's something, right? But yeah, we are now... Uh, China. Alright, so uh, it's time to get to work. You know? Like, am I about to build 287 livestock ranches? You're damn right I am. There we are. 350 livestock ranches are now being built in Shandong. Seventy-two million unemployed. Who cares? Yeah, they barely need to pay a wage, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem for them to actually find employees once they have cash. Mm -hmm. And with that, I am pretty hopeful that we will resolve some of our issues. Zhao. You don't need these rice farms, but you do need 280 tobacco plantations. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Honestly, reduce these to basic needs as well. And then that should probably help, because I know one of the usual uh, things that's too damn high is our industrial chemicals, but that actually kind of sorts it out. All right. I mean, wineries and breweries can still be built out here, so we're probably going to be moving a lot of the wineries and brewery production out to our new holdings. You know? Mm -hmm. There's the possibility of getting more construction sectors. Um, which, I mean, I could. I will a little bit. Not too many, but, you know, enough. But yeah, it's uh, going to be a struggle to get anything here. Now, the good news is, eventually we'll be able to bring the price down of a lot of our goods. So. Like, yeah, we have a shortage of wood. that. And it's worth noting that these places kind of get a pretty solid advantage. Company throughput bonus. Speaking of company throughput bonus. Well, there's a lot more to uh, potentially establish now. Which, fair, I suppose. And actually, this might be a bit of a kick for our rice plantations now. No, you know what? Get the company through for bonus. For our wheat farms. Alright, 
right, that should help sort that out. Yeah, we have a lot to build. Oh man, do we ever. And man, it would be great if my mouse could cooperate. There we are. Actually, let me zoom out. Uh, I really gotta clean that. The problem is it's just assembling my mouse, so it's a lot of work. Yeah, that's not a huge surprise. Like, one of the things I kind of want to consider cutting now is Social Security, but I might not need to. Yeah, welfare payments are somehow less than a million. Actually, that makes a ton of sense, because it's probably based off of, like, averages. Still. Like, the reality of it is now, I have 791 million unemployed and another 31 or 33 million peasants, so... Functionally, my entire economy is just a matter of... Yeah, what does cut into? Still not. I mean, France is free to try, but... change. Nope. Can't do that to France. Uh, yeah, you know what? French war is probably fine. Yeah. It's not like I have to go all the way to France, so it's not really a big deal. Like, France has overseas holdings. Shouldn't there be at least one down here somewhere? Maybe not. They can't all be independent. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's fine. So how's life for everyone here? Uh, we still have 1.1 billion radicals. Which, yeah, it's not a huge surprise, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, anywhere that can actually get one of these urban centers should probably chill the ever-loving hell out very quickly, at least. no overseas holdings left. Well, there's something down here. Also, is it the European Union hostile? Yeah, it is. Uh, well, that's a nuisance. I'm debating how much I care. Because I think to some extent, like it'll be annoying. Uh, I need to just dispatch. I think a small force is going to be. Nice. Nope. All right, France is giving that up as well. Uh, they have Caribbean islands. I remember I could free some of those. All right. So new plan. New plan is get a new goddamn mouse. Uh, new plan might have to go like the ever-loving 
crap out of some random Caribbean island. I don't know. Not too worried. Uh, deploy to the C node. And yeah, everyone should just be on wolf packs. We don't necessarily need to intercept. So that's fine. I mean, I continue to work on my uh, infamy, so... Because I would like to be returned to the international community with my new holdings. So, we'll hopefully get there. Alright. Pop growth is still over 1%. That's pretty good. Alright. Go Shandong. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. So, Shandong alone is only able to produce a hundred thousand. Okay. Let's. Ah, great. I have an ongoing secession. That's not particularly surprising. Unfortunately, that will necessitate uh, raising a third army, which I'll need to transfer to China. That's fine, though. Try and find any regions that... <laughs> like, are there any regions that don't have, like, an ongoing secession? It's just new life. Which wouldn't really surprise me. Like, 50% of China was radical before I even conquered it. So... Like, I can try and, like, reduce the radicals as much as possible, but... There's only so much you can do, you know? troops can hold on for however long it takes. The Uyghurs are seceding, also from Kazakhstan. Session movements? Nope. Alright. Cool. Because I kind of accept that I need to build. Oh, I don't know. Fucking at least a few. I don't know. Five, ten provinces of like livestock ranches. Good lord. But in doing so, I think I can sate our demand for meat. 
you know? Crush the Guangxi. New national value, liberty. That doesn't make a damn like a sense. Alright. Oh yeah, we're number one now. Nice. We've completely overtaken the, uh... The Americans. Get to it. Alright. North Borneo and West Java. I guess these are the Europeans. Like, I'm willing to say, generally, I've been pretty laissez-faire about okay. I've been pretty laissez-faire about dealing with it, but, you know... They are the Europeans, and I have underestimated the entire European continent before. And I recognize myself casually resting on my laurels again. And I realize I probably should not do that. All right. Jesus, you guys are combined arms armies. Get whatever the hell you can upgraded. Hmm. I'm in general not super. So. Because they are still going to have to defeat us. Which. Okay, maybe I'm over it. Okay, just Spain. Just Spain. You know? Like, I would like to know why this is, though. Because. Should I feel like a decent attack? Ah, yes, minus 85% from insufficient naval invasion support. Given I'm not really opposing their landings, that shouldn't happen. Y'all should be able to handle that. But, eh. It's a pile of dead. He's climbing pretty heavily, even if our, uh... Okay, apparently our GDP per capita is now 9.72 billion, according to this. Yeah, something just casually mathematically broke there on that, uh, display. That's fine. So yeah, they're going to have to actually land, which is going to be a bit of a struggle for them. And we have seized the Caribbean. So in this instance, it's important to get our fleet back here and try and limit the uh, their ability to actually land. Generally. And 
since it's deployed to the uh, HQ. Mm -hmm. Okay, North Bonia. Yeah, still only uh, the invasions in this region. Which they're struggling to actually deal with, so that's great. Concerning. Excuse me? I guess we should uh, probably be on that front. 20 days. Are you joking me? Yeah. Uh, Alright, so I think we just lost our capital island, which kind of sucks. we can catch up here, which we might be able to. Just barely. Holy shit, just barely. At 75, okay, no. so we can afford to lose a battle technically. Good. Because that'd be uh, awkward otherwise. You guys are theoretically on your way. Uh, yeah, no, clean up the Guangxi uprising. We'll deal with the rest later. Alright. Yeah, the entire European uh, army is now on its way. Now, we do have some distinct advantage. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we've just got to push. Where the hell is our navy? Because uh, I was going to say, we have a distinct advantage. And that advantage is our navy. Nine days to the Java Sea. Yep. Alright, we're almost there. Uh, this is still our capital island and our like effective center of supply. So... Actually gives us like a fair bit of HQ. Yeah, we're gonna need more forces out here. Come on. Did we like get kicked out of Caribbean HQ? No. Okay. Just checking. Because yeah, the uh, they are forcing in a lot right now. No, I need you to stay back. Still, we've got to we've got to pacify the Chinese. I mean, we're doing a great job at that, but it's still going to take a while. Okay. Again, where is my navy? Okay, so it is here. It's got 48% presence. Because at some point it's going to start disrupting their supply lines pretty heavily. 
Yeah, they're just bringing in more shit. Like an actual absurd amount of shit. So, we need to take out their supply lines. Of course, my navy might actually be outmatched here, unfortunately, because they just have so many ships. It's a bit of a problem, actually. This is still fully occupied. Yeah, they've, uh, they've kind of just pushed through me everywhere. Which is a bit of a problem. Like I, like I said, I can't exactly uh, discount the entire European Union for what it's worth. I ain't exactly uh, the kind to be fucked around with, totally. But on the other hand, they also probably are financially fucked, so that's good. From events plus 40, yeah. Like, I do have to retake my capital. Unfortunately, that's looking less and less possible. In the current state of affairs. Um, although, maybe not. Ah, uh, great, right, you have to be not engaged in battle. Uh, they probably won't oppose it because everything's on the front, so... Yeah, they'll, it'll suck, sure, but who cares. Like, yeah, they have no Spanish army here, so... As long as we're quick. Or otherwise can kick out their navy, I guess. That's going to be part of the trick, isn't it? Because, yeah, they can basically keep it indefinitely contested, I'm sure. And I can't really invade from any other node, so that's a problem. I think I can drag it out to a white piece. Which is good. Mm -hmm. Mainly, I believe I can get a white piece through. Is this is this, an, this invasion is just not going to happen. Like, raise some conscripts uh, and. Uprisings broken out, that's fine. Because they do just have 5,000 troops here. Now, unfortunately, I think they may actually be able to keep their troops in supply because, like, they. I'm not sure if they have naval supremacy, but they certainly have something. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, they spent 1.47 billion so far. Gold standard leader, yeah. Must return to HQ. Honestly, that's fine. Go ahead out that way. Spain's in default.
So that's French Gold Preserve. So no, okay. They're not gonna give in on that, but if I get them below zero war support before I hit negative uh, 100, we're okay. Generally speaking, anyway. Good lord, though, I just keep sinking and destroying so much shit. They lose two a thing, I lose seven. Alright. That is actually a loss, I think, for me, then. Yeah, I don't really accept the whole c getting cut down to size thing. Unfortunately, they have uh, infinity naval presence, so that's still going to cause me some headaches, at least. Like, you know. Get a commander. Alright. Indonesia HQ. You've been otherwise, in, I guess, incapacitated. That's fine. Let's try and uh, deal with some of this. Not a word. Oh, shit, that actually helped. Perfect. Alright. I don't know if they're going to really be opposing me here, but we'll see. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, that got my capital back. Uh, we're, we're frozen now. We're okay. So Spain had to fucking tap out because they were bankrupt, among other things. Alright, so now they have to get through the fleet in order to actually land. Which, yeah, good fucking luck, honestly. Like, the fleet is just too massive. Mm hmm. Oh. Talk about a miracle. All right, at the uh, at the eleventh hour, it looks like we're gonna pull this off. I was getting really worried that this was the end for us, but it's funny. I could start strategically bombarding people. I'm still not gonna do that. I'm a nice guy, despite the concentration camps. You know. But yeah, all right. Things are just kind of continuing out here, I guess. I haven't really had time to pay much attention, so... You know, you guys are just doing whatever, I assume. But yeah. Alright, so they are now currently failing to get through the fleet and actually land. Which is great. Ooh. They might actually successfully uh, contest our... Or no, it's still indecisive. Like, we are definitely taking some nasty hits, though. Oh. Yeah, we're losing manpower. And it looks like it's kind of just over now. The 
Hunanese uprising. He's willing to surrender. At least in a moment they'll be. Alright, that restores my grip over China for the time being, anyway. No, actually, rather permanently. There's The radicals are dealt with now. And I doubt we're going to return to that anytime soon. Well, we're up to 18 standard of living. Nice. Prevailed in the war. Alright. France is, uh, I think, starting to sweat a little bit, guys. I don't really care about war reparations. But I think I'd rather have you guys get humiliated. So. Our fleet is slowly dying, though. I can't keep up forever against the European fleet. But honestly, you know, it's done a pretty good job, I gotta say. It has sent so many enemy fleets packing. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll walk away with the white piece. Tried our best. That's fine. I was never really in any danger of like losing, I don't think. Because I did always have the, you know, nuclear weapons in the back of my pocket. But I do know that they aren't guaranteed to accept the nuclear ultimatum. They may actually choose nuclear war. So I really didn't want to have to hit that button. You know? It's no guarantee that they accept the uh, nuclear ultimatum. Back down to second place somehow. Alright. You know, I wonder. Now that I have a bunch of poor people, also on a side note. Welfare payments, there we are. 15 million. Oh no. Incorporate a state? <laughs> how, how do I unincorporate a state, guys? Oh lord. Alright. Well, that's something. Well, yeah. Fully, uh, stuff good. Wheat farm's good. Okay. Yeah, I don't. The problem is, I don't think I can actually unincorporate states. I should be able to, because I shouldn't be forced to randomly incorporate states against my will. Which sucks. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. That's a that's a little dicey. I think it's fine though. Seriously though, I'm kind of tempted to just kind of kick everyone else out of my market at this point. Go like full isolationist. Because, uh... Yeah. Livestock ranches and fishing wars are getting there. I say I never considered uh, additional fishing wars if there are places to put them. Yeah, we still got a lot of livestock ranches to build, so. Kinder. 
They deserve a second chance. Everyone deserves a second chance. But yeah. This is probably going to be like a mod on the workshop or something for this because like it's actually kind of a problem if these become incorporated. So I really don't want them to. Oh well. Big satellite arrays. Good. Out of curiosity, where are we in the space race? Develop a Mars mission. Researched ISR capabilities. So the space race leader is still America, so they are at or there. Yeah, so there's ISR capability. We've almost got some Earth cities. <laughs> so yeah. Alright. Well, thank you everyone for watching. I've been your Leo's Gildan. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, folks. Have a good night.